What is up, freaks and geeks, and welcome to a brand new series of Stardew Valley. It's actually gonna, uh, it's gonna be a let's play, um, because we're gonna be playing through, um, the entire game. Now, I don't know if there's, like, a in-game to it, if it's, uh, or if it's, um, continuous with, uh, uh, with, like, how long you can play it, um, there is a slight kind of like story aspect to it. Um, I have actually went, gone ahead and uh, played a couple of hours into uh, this game just to get a you know good feel and actually know what I'm doing and not just spend a couple of episodes just like going around not knowing what to do exactly. But Stardew Valley is it's it, I've heard many people compare it to um, Harvest Moon and. Um, in a couple other games, I kind of forget off the top of my head, but this is really a strong um, re um, resemblance to Harvest Moon, which I absolutely loved. I played that on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Um, the uh, w I forget exactly what which Harvest Moon game it was. It, if he, if it even had a subtitle, um, it might have just been Harvest Moon. But let's go ahead and get started um, in here. Now I have no idea. Um, what, um, what I should actually call myself, um, I guess I will actually just go with my name, or actually once, um, farm name, um, I don't know, uh, my favorite thing, um, let's see, my favorite thing in the world, huh, hmm, um, just for time's sake, and the music is actually kind of getting a little bit loud now, um, I'm going to mute that for at least for right now. Um, if I actually, there, I believe there is actually an option for the music um, in the game, so I'm going to turn the music back on once we get in. But uh, my favorite thing, I guess it would have to be um, uh, the sweet tea. Yes, yeah, good old country sweet tea. Um, now, uh, the... the Okay, farm, farm name. Um, I don't want it to make it kind of like a ridiculous name. Uh, let me see here. Um, all right. After um a while, actually, of trying to think of a name, I came up with Higgle Chiggle Farm. Um, I I I know I said I didn't want to make it a kind of a funny name, but you know that's the best name I could come up with. All right, let's just go ahead and get to customizing. Mm -hmm. Um, my character now. Now, what type of hair should I have? Um. Oh, that's kind of like a mohawk, I guess. I do, I do have a mohawk in real life, so. Um. Although I don't really like how that one kind of looks, because it's not exactly a short mohawk like that. Uh. Wow, look at that hairdo. Oh, that's actually a mullet. <laughs> I actually had a mullet whenever I was, uh, whenever I was, like, I believe I was five or whatnot. It looked just like Joe Dirt. I'm not shitting you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's check out some of the other hair. Um, oh, wow, that's, uh, what's that, what's the main character from Kingdom Hearts? It kind of reminds me of that, or even Saiyan hair. Um, I, huh, can we even make a Super, I, I think we could make a Super Saiyan. There we go, I made a Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, let's have... Um, yes, let's have a Super Saiyan uh, person. Um, let's see, what type of shirt shall you have? Uh, ooh, I like that. Uh, wow, nice, uh, nice beard. Oh, these are all like mono. Ooh, I I like that. Um, let's see, yeah, everything. Uh, okay, pants color. Um, let's try to. Uh, let's see. Yes, there we go. I put him in some orange pants. Uh, eye color. Um, oh yeah, Saiyan eyes are green, aren't they? Whenever they go Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan! Although you can't exactly see my eyes, but let's just roll with that for now. Um, yes. 
Uh, Higgle Chiggle Farm. Here we come. Alright, I should have actually probably unmuted the music there, but, uh, anyways, let's continue. Yes, c oh yeah, this is a lot, uh, uh, d less, um, uh, d d <laughs> the music is so weird without it, uh. Um, also, another thing, I probably won't be, uh, reading, um, the, uh, uh, reading the people's voices and different voices just because I'm a, I, I can't do voices that well. Um, the best one I could do is Salad Fingers. <laughs> I, and I bet you don't want me to go all creepy, uh, creepy, uh, Hubert Cumber Cumberdale on your ass. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but yes, uh, you know, I, I probably should have just, uh, actually, you know what? Yes, let's just go through the intro, because this actually has a meaning, I guess. But yes, uh, the basic story... Uh, behind this, if I mean if the game actually has been out for a while, and many people, many other YouTubers, has already started on the, on the game. But basically, what a uh, what a uh, XX years later. I, I like how they kind of like leave how many years uh, or how, how many years it's been open from whenever I guess he he was on his deathbed, which is kind of a distress distress for uh, thought to think about. Now, um. Does it change like every now and then? Cause I remember there being a skeleton in the. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. Everyone's the same. Cause I could have sworn that I saw some, uh, some, um, uh, some different people. I I don't know if that's actually the case or if it's the same people every time. It looks like the same people every time. But uh, yes, let's open the uh, the letter. Uh, dear Cory, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long t long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So get the fuck outside. <laughs> so I dropped everything and moved to, this pl to the place I truly belonged. I enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Higgle Chiggle Farm. <laughs> It's located in Stardew Valley on the southeastern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. That was my most precious gift at all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. My boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy, will ya? Will do. Ah, uh, and we're on the bus. Yes, and sorry for the uh, abrupt um, cut. Uh, I just figured I would skip kind of a boring bit because it seemed a little, um, I don't know, boring. And then it was just the bus uh, going through the uh, uh, going through the hillside. Welcome you to St uh, Stardew Valley. I'm. Uh, oh yeah, I've missed the first line of text i'm sorry i'm robin the loker carpenter mayor lewis sent me here to fix you and show you the way to your new home he's right up here tidy th tidying things up for your arrival the farm is right over here if you follow me now, that is a little bit loud i don't know how well my voice is going to come through uh the recording process uh, but, yes, I will turn it down as soon as possible. This is Higgle Chiggle Farm. Whoa! What's the matter? Oh, God. Sir, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil under underneath that mess. With a little de dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Cleaned. I think I just said you have it cleaned up clean in no time or never mind I used improper grammar there for the first time and here we are and here we are your new home ah the new farmer I guess I kind of gave him a little bit of a voice I guess I will do it but very slightly I'm just, like I said I'm just, I don't do voices very well welcome I am mayor Lu I am Lewis mayor of the 
I was fixing to call him Mayor Lewis. I am Lewis, Mayor of Pal Pelican Town. <laughs> That's so close to Pallet Town. <laughs> you know, everyone's been asking about you. What? I, I, my voice just went really weird there. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little, b m a little bit more opt though. Rude! And she giggled! Don't listen to her, Cory. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Humph. <laughs> Anyways, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Tapping her foot. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything else to sell, just place it in this box. I will come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> let me... I don't know... Uh, man, let me tell you something, though, about chickens. Uh, roosters, in particular. Um, one thing about... Uh, roosters that m many people actually don't really know is um, not only do they crow in the morning time they crow during all the day all during the day but also get this they also crow in the middle of the night like in two o'clock in the morning they were just cl crow um, but yes I got some seeds to start myself out and let's uh, actually turn down the music if we can music sound yes that is actually still a little bit loud. Uh, t -t -t footsteps. Alright. Alright, so yeah, let's get um, started clearing out the little bit of uh, land here. Now, um, on, let's see what we got here as terms of uh, crap in the way. Um, yeah, th yeah, this is a good spot right here, if any. Um, okay, hold on, real quick. Before we uh, start on anything, let's uh, rearrange this to my liking. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this cleared out. First off for... Um, oh, yes, and another tank. Another tank? Oh my god. <laughs> An another thing um, is that... One of the things I really, really actually like to do is always show tool hit location. That makes it really, really easier, at least for me, to actually hit stuff for the first time and not actually waste any energy. That's also, I mean, I don't know if many people know about that, but that's a useful tip to know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get most of this cleared and out of the way. Now, I really actually like to set up my um, first... Um, or, yeah, really my growing area, um, around this little pond down here, so it doesn't take that much, um, effort to actually, if, as, or time as far as, like, walking and whatnot, um, to go get more water, water once you actually need it. Now, this should be, um, a big enough area already, so, alright, so, how are we gonna do this? We got 15 seeds, um... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just do this for now. Whoops. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Alright. Planting time. And watering time. So yes, this is basically uh, the game, and it's actually very, like I said, uh, very reminiscent to um, Harvest Moon. And I played that game so much. I believe I played through like about four or five summers, or four or five years in that game, which is, I mean, in, in retrospect, I don't think it was like that long. 
um, compared um, to really like the actual end game. But um, it was a uh, I spent a good while uh, playing that game. Um, let's see, we only have 20 wood right now. I always like to um, in the very beginning. Um, whenever you first start out is to collect as much wood as you possibly can. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and chop down a couple more trees. Just so I can actually get a chest going. Because your inventory space really does fill up really fast. And it takes, I believe, 50 wood to um, make a chest. So yeah, that's the most important thing. But uh, yes, uh, comparing this game to um, Harvest, like Harvest Moon and, Moon and stuff, um, it it does share a lot of similar um, aspects. Um, like the farming is very very reminiscent to um, to Harvest Moon, although there were, you actually had like this little like um, growing kind of like uh, space that you would actually have to like. Um, dig up the, uh, you know, the logs and stuff. I really do actually like this more f uh, free form, um, like, um, idea of, uh, of the, f okay, hold on, I actually got 50 wood. Like, kind of like the idea, like, uh, the, f of placing and, um, placing, uh, you know, fields and then wherever you want to put your, like, say, chicken coop and stuff, wherever you want. I find that system a lot more, um, better than, um, than Harvest Moon system that where it already had like say stuff picked out for you. Now um, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff up. And well, for the first day we don't really have that much uh, stuff to do. Um, we we need to introduce ourselves to a lot of people, and then we also need to uh, cultivate a parsnip. Now we do start out with um, 500 gold. Now I do actually want to go ahead and make a um, an investment on a, a, of a little bit of money to actually get some more seeds. Now it may you know it's going to take a couple days, but it we will make our money back sooner or later. Um, and uh, what is going on with my arms? Um, is it because I uh, chose my eye color to be green? I, what the fuck is going? Huh? I guess. Uh. Huh. Anyways, um, yes, it's the first, first of the month. Um, and let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to as many pe people as we can, since everyone is um, is actually uh, actually walking around right now. Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me about you. I'm Marie. And, uh, what's your name again? Harvey. Oh, yeah, the medical, uh, guy. Yeah, the doctor. I've actually never went into that store before. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I didn't read the text that time. I'm sorry. I haven't really been reading that text uh, lately. Um, oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Uh, let me go say hi to you behind the counter. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. Hey, it's Mr. Cory, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the Loker General Store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I'll buy the produce from you at, at a good price. Um, now... I'm not really quite sure, um, off the top of my head, if it's actually more profitable to actually sell them in the box, um, uh, sell, uh, uh, your crops and stuff in the box, but, um, uh, that's, uh, that's something to think about. Now, um, I would, I would actually, um, see, 500, um, I will go ahead and buy five of them. That will leave me with 200. Now, um, I, I honestly like to go with potato seeds um, because you have actually a chance to get two um, potatoes whenever you uh, whenever you actually harvest them so let's get let's get back to uh, the farm and um, plant these Ooh, another person to talk to I'm a I perform oh oh you're still Harvey I, I, I just didn't recognize you from the back there So yes, let's get these uh, seeds planted, and uh, and I guess we're just gonna go out and uh, forage. 
uh, for the rest of the day. Um, ooh, yeah, hunt. There we go. Now, let's see. Uh, where do I want these uh, beanstalks? Uh, ch -ch -ch I guess I guess I could just go ahead. Hold on, if we if if we put, I'm trying to think of whenever I actually place the scarecrow where I want it to be. Um. Yeah, right. Yeah, the scarecrow right there would actually be really good. All right, yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these. Uh, and then you. And ha you, you're gonna have to go now. Bean stock one, two, three, four, five. And we could go ahead and just dig out this so we can plant the potatoes. And voila! Alright, now let's go off to forage. Because we are at low energy and that's really the only thing we can do for today. Now, um, I'm actually going to need to bring a... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Oops, no. That's not what the tool I want to bring. There we go. Whenever I go to forge, especially when I, um, before I have, like, the first backpack upgrade, I like... Uh, well, I ta I'm talking like I've been playing this game for a while. Um, to be honest, I, I've only got to summer um, in, my, uh, in my, like, solo uh, playthrough. Um, oh, yeah, that's actually another thing. I, I wonder if I can go um, meet uh, the fisherman real quick. I forget his name. Is it Willie? That, if it is, uh, that's such a cliche name for like a fisherman person. Uh, did I already talk to you? No. Oh, so yeah, you're Pierre. You're uh, Pierre's uh, wife. Hello. You can call me Granny. Well, there's a. I actually know that that joke would be in bad taste. That smile, though. Hi. Hello there. What a great introduction. Hi. I get stuck on bushes a lot. Oh, hello there. It was great. Elliot. Hello, Elliot. That hair, though. I wish you could actually have that hair. Uh, the new farmer we all been expecting, and whose ar arrival has been has sparked many of conversation. Well, your your um, how you put your words is so elegant. I can't even read them. That that elegance, though. Ooh. Ooh, muscle. Oh yeah, there is actually forageables um on the uh on the on the beach. Can you not meet Willie on the first day? Sad face. I guess not. At least I got some forageables though. All right, yeah, let's let's just head back then if that's the case. Um I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh Go ahead and sleep for the uh, first day then, if that's the case. Um, I actually might ha take a little gander over here. Take the uh, long way back up uh, to my farm. I mean, because it is only six. And plus, you c I could also find some forageables too that I can sell. Which wouldn't be bad at all. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk around here for a second. Um, and uh, another, I, I guess another thing I will um, go ahead and talk about since um, I kind of just thought of this. 
um, is I'm actually gonna kind of, I'm not gonna have like this series kind of like heavily edited, but um, if there's uh, some parts where I'm just like going around like searching like this and I think of nothing to really talk about, uh, I will, uh, you know, make sure the video is not just like silent and boring and me just like running around or whatnot. Yeah, it looks like, um, no luck. Now, keep in mind, I didn't exactly go searching all that, um, that hard, but, uh, but yes, that, uh, it actually is getting a little late, and, uh, we are running out of time for this video, too. Um, I, and, uh, that's actually another kind of, um, thing to actually bring up. Um, I've noticed with the, uh, with um, the program that I use, um, Sony Vegas, to um, to edit videos, um, it, for some reason, um, it has a hard time um, with uh, with rendering videos longer than like say 30 minutes um, or so. So, so so. But uh, oh, I almost forgot to dump these clams and clams and stuff off. Um, I, on, isn't there actually a well, I'm I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put everything in the box um, for now. Ooh, we got some uh, mystery seeds. Um, I'm actually not gonna plant them tonight. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be making um, I'm probably gonna just gonna be making around 30 or 25 minutes episodes um, from now on. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Um, we're gonna end the episode on uh, how much we actually made through forageables and stuff. Um, did I actually put some stone? Oh, yeah, I did by accident. Ah, that's all right. Um, but we actually got a, a good good bit, actually. Um, not a lot, mind you, but it, it, was a, it was a pretty good chunk of coin. But yes, I'm going to leave that here for this uh, first part or episode. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Um, if you like the series and whatnot, and just tell me um, what you think of it, um, down below in the descriptions, if you want to have live updates, please follow me on my Twitter, and well, I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, what fun is there in making sense?